it's, it's kind of up in the air to us as to who's going to train um, Chavez Jr. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the candidates are going to be Freddie Roach and Robert Garcia. Yeah, yeah, if, if, if you're his mentor or uh-huh. his advisor, who, who, does Chavez, who does Chavez Jr.? I mean, right. what, who will benefit him more? As you say, it doesn't make a difference, but who will make more sense for him to train him? I think, Fre- Freddie I think or Robert. Robert. Robert? Why I Robert? Think Robert Why? would make more, more sense because there's a lot more. Uh, there, there, there's a lot. They have a lot more in common. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, I think uh, the communication. He did say the English was a barrier. Yes, when correct. When they first started, when they first correct. started, yeah, he said I it think was communication, a communication, communication yeah. is key, and I think Robert will be able to communicate a lot more with with Chavez and get through Chavez mentally. Yeah, a lot better than than than, uh, than Freddie would. I just that's my opinion. What do you think? I think that I think uh, Freddie or Robert is key. Freddie or Robert? I think Robert. Robert. I just don't think that. Uh, Chavez Jr. is very coachable, yeah, bro. I, yeah. I don't. I just don't. Don't. He'll, he'll like to kill. It'll be. A, it'll be a better fit for for uh, Canelo to go. I'm not sorry. For Chavez Jr.? to go with Robert. Yeah. But I just don't think it'll. It'll. Uh, make any difference. Make any difference. Say, yeah. I. That's my opinion. I yeah, just yeah. think Canelo. Canelo's gonna. He. He. You know. He's a smart guy. He, he won't tri- fight Triple G. <laughs> But he'll fight Chavez at what? 165. Why would he fight Chavez Jr. at 164.5 and then for Golovkin, he asked Golovkin to come down to 155. Uh, that's another, we're talking about levels, man. Yeah. I mean, but you know, there's di- different levels. Yeah. Chavez is a, uh, you can't compare uh, uh, Chavez to Triple G. Well, no way. What's different though there between, we say Golovkin at 160 and then Chavez Jr. at 160, what's, what's different? What's, what separates? Not much better fighter. Much He's better an active fighter. fighter. Better fighter, stronger, <laughs> discipline, the, everything, yeah. everything. That's something that, unfortunately, Chavez isn't. Yeah. And you can't, you, you know, you can't, you can't cover, you know, can't cover the moon with a finger. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, everybody true. knows that, yeah. that that Chavez is always. He's been a. a, a if anything, he's he's been known to be undisciplined and yeah. not make weight and not go to the gym. Even with Freddie, not hit the gym, not show up, do what he wants, train when he wants. You can't do that in boxing, man. Yeah. So, is this gonna make? Is this gonna? Is this fight gonna be the difference? Is he gonna be more disciplined now because he's fighting Canelo? I don't know, man. I, yeah. I just don't. You know, he's not a young man either. What is he? Thirty? He's 30, 30, 30, no. Thirty-one. Chavez? Yeah, Chavez Jr. No, he's not 31. Is he 27, no? 31. Oh, huh? damn. He's an older man. You gotta pull it up. I'm looking at him. So it's now or never, man. Wow. And it's like, it's like, and then with Chavez Jr., it's not like he has been like filling up the way, like going from one, main, let's just say he, it's from just 140, yeah. from 140 to 147, or 54 to 160, 168. He jumped some weight heavy. divisions yeah. there, yeah. It's not like he's been staying busy at every weight class yeah. and, and been dominant in every weight class and been winning titles That's in true. any weight class. That's true. That hasn't been the case.